important to win over hearts and minds of your whole community and, and beyond. So that means all the stakeholders, the parents, the children, the staff and the local authority and everyone you'll be working with, particularly your kitchen staff, obviously. Once you've done that, you can then start to move forward. You can design things together. If we are committed to taking steps on climate, food, buying power, it's, it's, it's the way to go. It's obviously a way to go. And we're seeing that reflected in schools, particularly the young people we talk to. So when we want to have a conversation with young people about food, it's quite interesting that climate is something they really engage with. We cannot tackle the climate and nature emergencies if we don't tackle food. So we would like local authorities to put food at the centre of their strategies to meet these climate and nature emergencies. Our Serving Better Guides shows that this doesn't need to be complicated. It's all about putting strategies in place to serve more vegetables, more pulses and less and better meat. There's a lot of good talk about supporting agroecology and how we want more sustainable farming systems and you know better land use. But on the other hand, you know, we are absolutely complicit in deforestation in our supply chains. There's this race to the bottom in terms of ever cheaper food. When we're importing cheap food from abroad, it's at the cost of environmental animal welfare standards as well. I shudder to think of some of the meat that we were serving in schools by really selling the vegetarian meals and then balancing those with really good quality meat on the two days that we do meet. And this is, this is the corn, which is a good alternative to meat. Once it's spiced up and everything, you don't really notice the difference. We've made the changes gradually by introducing different ways of cooking vegetables. I've been here in school meals about 40 years, and when we started, it was just steaming and boiling. Let that um, soften a bit before I add the garlic. The positives are we've learned different cooking skills, different ways of cooking with herbs and spices that make it more interesting and with the technical side it's opened our knowledge of food. Samia's vegetable samosas. looked at the whole food model across the school and we looked at the menus and we were able to balance by having two vegetarian days, two meat days and a fish day, we were able to create an affordable menu that was sourced from very high quality producers without increasing the overall cost of a school meal. To be able to have a school meal that's cooked fresh on site every day is really important for our children's education. You can eat um and nice food. The fish is good and it's healthy and the chips are homemade. It's good and healthy for you and it keeps you nice and it keeps you strong. Where we learn as adults we can pass it on to the children as well which is better for everybody in the long term and this is the aim of um, sustainable food and eating healthily. It is possible to change your food for the better and to do it for no extra cost. And I think if the drive is there among school governors, school leaders, local authorities to make that happen, then our children will get better food and in the future will be healthier and in the end will be a less of a cost on our health service. If you set up an ambition for contract caterers or whoever's bidding to compete, to do the best for children rather than the cheapest, great things happen. And with that, of course, meal numbers go up, more children are eating great food, and the economies of scale mean that it's financially viable as well. We need to grow more locally and have those local supply chains. And I think what's been happening lately in terms of the, the crisis in our food supply chains demonstrates that even more than um, in the past. But 
So we need, but we need local authority caterers to be to be properly resourced. We then need those networks where they can access the, the fresh fruit and veg within a reasonable travelling distance. Yes, you may have a tomato. Simple swaps to recipes to put more vegetables on the menu can have a huge impact in reducing carbon emissions. Local authorities and other public institutions serve hundreds of thousands of meals every month, so the impact of rolling this out across the country would be massive.